This Nefertiti's statue is a fake one, made in order to perpetuate the myth of Caucasian Egypt. In 2009, the art historian Henry Stierlin and the book Missing Link in Archaeology by the Berlin writer Erdogan Ersevan defended the thesis that the bust of Nefertiti was only a contemporary forgery. According to Stierlin, Borchardt created the bust to test ancient pigments found on the excavation grounds, and when the bust was admired by the daughters of Prince John George of Saxony, he presented it as authentic so as not to disappoint them. Styrlin argues that the left eye missing from the bust would have been a sign of disrespect in ancient Egypt, that the unusual shape of the severed shoulders is an archaeological hapax, that the first scientific documents dealing with the bust do not appear for the first time until 11 years after its alleged discovery, and that while the pigments are very old, the limestone core has never been dated. Ersivan suggests that Borchardt's wife may have served as a model for the bust, and both authors argue that it was not revealed to the public until 1924 because it was a forgery. According to Henri Stierlin, the bust was made on the site of the excavation in 1912 by the German sculptor Gerhard Marx with materials found on site. When the objects were looted in 1913, there was no trace of the bust on the registers and lists. Gustave Lefebvre, the eminent French Egyptologist who represented the Egyptian Museum in Cairo at the time, said he did not remember the bust.